Hey Vikes, happy Friday. I'm Sophie and you're watching SVTV. Today is the last day you can turn in your Washburn University papers and the last day you can drive without a parking pass. So make sure you turn in your papers to Mrs. Varner and get a parking pass from the security office. Make sure to head on out to the back to school dance tonight from 8 to 10 p.m. There will be no outside dates and casual school dress code will be enforced. The cost is $5. Picture day is Monday. Bring your order forms and dress to impress. For all you non-seniors who would like to take a fun trip to Boston and New York City, need to see Mr. Elliott during activity period next Wednesday. Also next Wednesday, there will be auditions for the fall play. See the bulletin for information on both of these events. Speaking of auditions, students will have a chance to audition for show choir on August 30th. If you want a chance to get involved, make sure you come to auditions next week. Speaking of getting involved, there will be a winter sports conditioning informational meeting for freshmen who plan to play a winter sport. 10th through 12th grade athletes can contact coaches Cox, Kelly, or Tinsley for more information. Alright, we'll head over to Josh to see what the weather will be like for the rest of the day and for this weekend after this commercial break. Throughout the month of April, SAFE will be rewarding students right. who have pledged to wear their seatbelt and drive safe. Yeah. Eleven teens die every day as a result of testing and driving. So please put down the phone. The text can wait. Picture day is Monday, August 27th. It doesn't matter what your look is, just make sure you show up. You made it through the first day of school and the weather really not half bad but despite the rain we've received the past couple of weeks we still have a extreme drought in pretty much all of Shawnee County now this doesn't include the rain we saw yesterday which ended up being around two-thirds of an inch so that should add a little bit of improvement but we need to see a lot more rain before that we see this drought really start to get a lot better as we go into this weekend, it's going to get very hot. Air temperatures will be generally in the middle to upper 90s and combined with some pretty muggy air we were talking about a few days ago, that's going to result in heat index values mostly in the lower triple digits. So get ready. We're tracking a very hot weekend ahead. And now just checking back in with the progress of Hurricane Lane. It has now weakened to a Category 3 hurricane and it continues to near some of the islands. Some places have received already over two feet of rain, causing some serious flash flooding problems. But now moving forward through the next 24 hours, the wind is what's really going to be causing a concern down there in Hawaii. Back at home though, here's your seven day forecast. You can see that again, that very hot weather continues through early next week. But fortunately, we catch a break starting Tuesday with some scattered storms around and then perhaps a break on Wednesday with nightly storms Tuesday night and Wednesday night. Again, it's just a cooler pattern slightly as we head into the middle of next week. Sophie, back to you. All right, that's all we have for now, Vikes. Don't forget Picture Day is Monday. Have a great weekend. <laughs>